Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to you. I'll me out with shy. Double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Yahweh Bashim El Shai Bashim Rakha Kudash Brakatam Akim. I have on right here on the screen a movie that that just come out uh, called The Hunt. Um, I'm sure some of you brothers may have heard of it. Um, basically, I'm gonna read right here. It says twelve strangers wake up in a uh, clearing. They don't know where they are or how they got there. In the shadow of a dark internet conspiracy theory. Ruthless elitists gather at a remote location to hunt humans for sport, but their master plan is to is about to be derailed when one of the hunted crystal turns the tables on her pursuers. And it's just it's just funny how they threw in the word elitist in their in their um hunting humans for sport, which is there's there's no there's no difference between what's going on right now. You know, they're gonna send in the martial law, the troops, and they're gonna hunt you. Okay, you're gonna have, and uh, you're gonna have other guys. You know these Edomites, the average Edomites out here doing the same thing, man. Like on the movie Purge, you know, they're gonna be going in gangs and uh, lynching and doing all forms of wickedness, man. To you, especially to you, Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. Okay, so this is a movie that's out in theaters right now, called The Hunt. All right, it says the most talked about movie of the year is one that no one's actually seen, The Hunt. Decide, decide for yourself, September 27th, March 13th. Um, it says a, disturb, a disturbance to our country, political uproar, uh, exploitive rather than opinionated, not appropriate, uh, shows Hollywood for what it really is, demented and evil, dangerous, a gory battle royale, a sick murder fantasy. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what that word is right there, of violence. Then you got that pig right there, which we know that that's that rep represents an, uh, Esau. Okay. You know, unclean, you know, the unclean animal. All right, unclean individual. So, yeah, man, you know, this video or this movie's out right now. And if you've seen the trailer and you know how they make the trailers, they they chop it up. And well, there's a part where it says, who would do such a thing? And a man pops us as white people. And it's true. White people love doing this shit. Esau is a man of the field. He likes to hunt. OK, and he, and he is a. Uh, a bloodthirsty man. Okay. Um, like I said, it's just you know, it's like when the purge came out, you know, what well, you have three different purges. So even when that movie came out, you know, it was people were talking about it, but with us brothers we made videos regarding it. You know, they're basically showing you what they're about to do, man. What they what they want to do, their intent. Okay. Like again, you, you read it right here, twelve strangers wake up in a clearing. And you got 12 tribes. They don't know where they are or how they got there. You know, you brought the Israelites over from the west borders of Africa. You know, they didn't know where they were or how, you know, they knew how they got there. But, you know, saying they didn't know where they were. And it says in the shadow of a dark Internet conspiracy theory. And then right now, everybody's talking about a conspiracy theory. You know, all that, those are just theories. No, this is this is an actual conspiracy, man. This is a... a, a a propaganda agenda that was set up, you know, what's going on right now with the coronavirus, um, the powers that be, they all, they all have this set up, the WHO, the CDC, okay, everybody is, is in uh, in agreement with, with this right now, not all of them know, but the ones that do know what they're about to do, they implement the RFID chip, mar martial law, gain world dominance, the, N the NWO, the New World Order, Okay. Order out of chaos. That's what this is what's going on. And there's going to be things going on like this. All right. Hunting, they're going to be hunting you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, man, these Edomites. Okay. And it just it's funny it says in the shadow of a dark internet conspiracy theory, ruthless elitists gather at a remote location to hunt humans for sport. Okay. 
So let's, let me get this one here in the Apocrypha. Let's go over here to Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, the RFID chip. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh. For they shall lay, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. Hear, O you, my beloved, saith Yahweh, Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh by Shem Shai. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. So in every place and cities, there's going to be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, and they shall be like mad men. Okay? Bloodthirsty, man. Uh, let's get this other one here in the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 35. And five, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by, by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the day that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay, so it's going to turn on them, you know. Let me bring this one out here. In Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 4, uh, verse 17. As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. The days are fulfilled for our end is come. And that's what we're about to approach. That's what we're coming to, man. By keeping you in your homes. If you step out of line, you, 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 uh, you know, when they implement martial law, man, when they set a curfew and you're out there in the, in the streets and you're not supposed to be out there, they're going to deal with you. You know? They're going to deal with you. And they're going to be invading homes. They're going to be just, hey, they're going to they're gonna get a command, go to this address, kick door, go in there, harass them. Look for anything, you know, early in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, you know, whatever the case may be, they're going to be doing that, man. They're going to hunt. They says they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end has come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, was taken in their pits, of whom we said, under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. And that's how it is for us today. You know, we're living under the shadow of Yahweh Bashim Al Washai and this perverse and crooked generation, man, the faithless generation. And hoping and depending in the shadow of Yahweh Bashim Al Washai, his you know, um under his wings. Light healing, you know, protection, a hedge of protection. His name is a, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe. Okay. Then it goes on to say in verse 21, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. That's right. And that's what's going to happen, man. For the things that you're doing, you're about to do. But you ain't going to be able to, to get away with, uh, you know, um, with the elect. Okay. And if you do happen to get the, an elect and, and to have your way with him, 
That's because the Lord allowed you to do that because there's a um, a certain lot for that individual to bear witness unto you. Um, the truth, you know, he's going to um, give a testimony and you're, you're going to be guilty of that. Let me get this other one here in the book of Obadiah. Um. Uh, verse 10 for thy violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off from forever in the day that and in, in the day that thy stoodest on the other side in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces and foreigners into into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem even thou was as one of them but thou sh shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger neither shouldest Thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of his, of distress. That's why I said, Rejoice, O you Edom, in the land of us, for the cup shall go unto thee as well. You know, because it's all, uh, what the what, what does it say? Let me get it real quick. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, for which... That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and God required that which is a past. So you're going to get what you sold, man. You're going to reap what you sold. Verse 13, Obadiah, th verse 13, thou, thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity by, by being in, their, in the land. You know, taking up a man's heritage, you know, calling themselves the is, Jewish or Israelis, you know, God's people, claiming that they're from the tribe of Judah or Benjamin or Levi. Verse 14, neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. You see, so they're going to be waiting, like I said, in the wilderness and lamentations, you know, they're going to be hunting you, uh, you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, man. All right, perpetual hatred that Esau has. It says, Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the Lord, for the day of the Lord is near and upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For as you have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Okay. And it says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And Esau is going to be part of that possession. And, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Okay. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has spoken it. Okay. But this is just something that uh, I wanted to bring out for you brothers to see. You know, this movie, um, The Hunt. Okay. The Hunt is on, man. You know, everything that's going on right now with this coronavirus thing and is leading up to government shutdowns, to to worldwide countries and 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 cities and things of that nature are being shut down over this coronavirus, but we know that something greater and major is going to come out of this. The RFID chip, man, gain world dominance, one world currency, one world world religion. Okay, if you don't fall in line with what they have set up for this new world order, you're an enemy. Okay. We already know the Patriot Act has already been written. It's you're, everybody's basically considered a terrorist. All right. And then taking that RFID chip is ultimate allegiance to, to this man, to this devil. So come soon, they're going to be doing this, man. They're already doing it. The police officers do it. They lynch. They, they murder Jake. You know, you got in cer certain uh, diverse places with Edomites killing uh, Jake, man. So... Again, you know, my brothers, just be careful, be watchful, you know, praying to Yahweh Bashim al Shai because we're coming into these times where, you know, people are just going to go all out, man.
So I hope it was edifying. Till next time, I want to say Shalom.